Alrighty, we're sitting in the in the blazer. I just fired it up. It's been sitting for a little while. Um, so what I want to do is I want to play a little song here to show the before and after of the battery. Uh, let's hit this one here. Let's pick a volume first. I think like 15. Now, it's not much of a comparison. I'll just do it at idle. The reason is I want to really check the difference that the battery itself makes. Um, the alternator, I've already got a high output alternator. So let's see what's going to happen. And with regards to the base level, um, let's turn it up to 11, just because. So, I'm going to hit play, let's see what happens. So we'll do the same test again with the new battery once it won the new batteries once they're installed and uh, we'll see how much of a difference that really made. So with the regards to the EQ, let's see where we're at here. I've got a custom EQ setting, um, just something that I've played with that I thought sounded decent in here. Just so we know that we're dealing with the same thing. Um, bass booster is at zero. My subwoofer frequency is 63, and I'm running at negative 14 right now for my level. So, let's uh, get those new batteries in and see what we're uh, dealing with. Alrighty, so this is my birthday present. One of them I bought for myself, and the second one was bought for me. XP2000 series. So I can find the specs on there. Hang on. Manual. There we go. Perfect. So now, in the back of the S10, I've got to find a place to add some batteries. So they're going to go on the back side of the uh, of the speaker box. Oh, I'm going to sit over on the side. I've got a discon I've just disconnected the uh, fuse from the battery for this power wire. So now I'm going to reroute these up to the batteries, and then I got some new leads to go back down to the amplifiers. So I got to do a little bit of soldering and put on the ends of those wires. Here's what I got: two watt copper lugs. The wire fits in there, you can solder the shit out of them, they're solid, they work good. So let's get started. So I'm running one aught power wire. I don't know if you guys can read it. And this is a two aught solid copper lug. And if you check it out, they fit right in there, nice. And the tapered edge makes it easy to fit in. Everything fits on great. You can actually get all the strands in there. So as soon as you start cutting strands off, you're technically you're derating the wire. So you want to avoid that as much as you can. And then you can heat these guys up with a torch and you can just fill that with solder, it makes a great connection. So now I gotta make some other hands and get some soldering happening here.
Okay, well, I've got these uh, set up. I got my lengths cut. Now I gotta strip them, solder my ends on, and then I can uh, make it well, my jumper will be set. The next will be the rest of the wire here. I got two more lugs to go on, and that jumps from the battery down to the amp. Um, so my line straight from the alternator will come into the battery, and then out from the other battery down to the amplifier. So I'm gonna have two lugs per screw. Alrighty, now we're all soldered up. I'm gonna set the batteries in the back of the truck. Um, I'm gonna put these leads on the amp first, bring them up to the top, make all the connections up at the battery then. Uh, see if you notice the jumpers have two aught lugs and the tails down to the amplifier are only one aught. Uh, the two aught lugs actually fit on the wire very nice. The one aught lugs you do have to push on there but they do fit nice and tight. Um, I just prefer the two aught they actually ran out of 2 aught. The last two I had to buy were the were uh, one aught there, but the two aught fit nice. You can actually fit the solder inside there too and start filling it with solder. So right now they're all filled with solder. I'm just cooling them down. I just heated them up one last time to uh, make them look pretty, and we should be uh, ready to rock now. So right, I'm just trying to organize some of my wiring back here to make it look neat and clean. Um, for now, I'm going to use a ratchet strap hold both batteries in place just until I decide finally what I want to do with uh, with a mounting point there so let's get these guys in here and uh, in the position I want them to be here Let's get them strapped down and make some connections. Alrighty, we'll pay no attention to this hat. That's just to keep the uh, ratchet strap from cutting into the top of the battery. Um, but everything's strapped up nice and neat. It's solidly in this spot here. It's not moving. Um, everything's been reconnected, so let's fire this thing up and see what we can do. Alrighty, I got the song queued up. Volume is 15, base level 11. Let's see what we can make this baby do. Alrighty, we had some technical difficulties. I didn't realize that uh, when I slid the um, the subwoofer box back down, I cracked off the RCAs on the side of the amp. So I had no signal going to my amp, which would explain why nothing was working. Anyways, so I've got it fixed. I kind of had to butcher some RCAs to make it work, um, but for now it's going to have to be good enough. Let's get this cranked up to 11. Yeah, there we go. And I think we are ready to rock.